What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the USH. Are you tired of the searching? Ever found yourself dreaming of the perfect town to call home? Want to find a town to buy a home or maybe rent a place? Today, we're looking at the 10 best towns to live in USA. If you're considering a move or just curious about life in small town America, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. Kicking off our list at number 10 is the enchanting St. Augustine, Florida. Imagine waking up to the sound of waves, crashing on the historic shores, and basking in the rich Spanish colonial architecture. Now, what it's like to live in St. Augustine. And you know what? It's a fantastic place, but earning a living? Well, that's a different story. There are two ways that really capture the essence of the city. It's like a clean, safe, small New Orleans. The vibrant culture, the lively atmosphere, but without the chaos. Also has that unique blend of history and modern charm that makes it truly one of a kind. Now, here's the kicker. We noticed something interesting about the residents. If you live in St. Augustine, you're either a retired heart surgeon or a waiter. It's a city of extremes. You've got these incredible beachfront mansions that belong to the wealthy elite. And on the flip side, you've got the struggling student types living in rundown, but somehow still beautiful beachfront properties. The middle class? Well, it seemed like they were a rare breed in St. Augustine. You were either living the high life or embracing the student struggle. The median house price is around $458,000, with a cozy town atmosphere, you can expect to pay an average rent of $1,595. The median income, a comfortable $67,000. But you know what? It's a city that leaves a lasting impression. Now, let's fast forward to Winslow, nestled in the heart of Arizona, our number nine pick. This small desert town is more than just a stop on Route 66. Winslow boasts a laid-back atmosphere, stunning desert landscapes, and a community that embraces the slower pace of life. With its population of around 9,000, may not be on everyone's radar, but trust me, it's a hidden gem. Remember the Eagles' iconic song, Take It Easy? Well, Winslow is home to the famous stand-in on the corner park where the inspiration for that song struck. Let's break it down. The pros, it offers that small town charm and serves as a launch pad to Arizona's incredible natural attractions. Plus, it's relatively affordable, making it an ideal getaway without breaking the bank. On the flip side, it can be a bit sleepy, especially if you're used to the fast-paced city life. Nightlife enthusiasts might find it a tad quiet, However, if you're seeking a peaceful escape, Winslow's laid-back atmosphere is just what you need. In Winslow, Arizona, you can own a piece of desert paradise with a median house price of $120,000. Enjoy the laid-back lifestyle with an average rent of $800, while the median income stands at $41,000. It's the perfect haven for those seeking tranquility under the desert sun. At number eight, we find Elmira, New York, nestled in the picturesque Finger Lakes region. This town is surrounded by lush greenery and dotted with charming Victorian homes. Elmira offers a close-knit community and a vibrant art scene, making it an ideal spot for those seeking a balance between nature and culture. Now, let's talk about the cost of living. The median house price hovers around $150,000, Residents enjoy a median income of $55,000, making it an affordable yet thriving community. A two-bedroom, one-bathroom rents for $750 a month plus utilities. Quite reasonable, right? City politics often argue that a higher cost of living prevents crime. Do I buy into that belief? Not really, but these are the narratives we hear in this small city. Next on our list, at number seven, is the Cowboy Haven of Sheridan, Wyoming.
Picture yourself surrounded by sweeping plains, rugged mountains, and a true Western spirit. It's more than a town, it's a gateway to outdoor adventures, where the community values traditions as much as they do the breathtaking landscapes. It's mostly self-sufficient, but there are those occasional trips to Billings for hard-to-find items. With the rise of Amazon, things might have changed, but that small-town charm remains intact. The school system may have seen an increase in class size, but the essence of a tight-knit community persists. The social life is vibrant, especially in the first few years. However, like any town, it can start to feel repetitive. The thriving church scene, Protestant, Catholic, and Mormon communities coexisting harmoniously is a testament to the town's open-minded spirit. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, winter. Sheridan's winters are long. Snow covers the ground from mid-October to March, with temperatures that can drop to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. But hey, the silver lining? Plenty of sunny days to lift your spirits. The median house price is a reasonable $416,000. With an average rent of $1,475, you can enjoy the expansive landscapes without breaking the bank. The median income here is a robust $52,000. Now, let's shift gears to the charming Cape May, New Jersey, our number six pick. This coastal town is a Victorian paradise, adorned with colorful houses, pristine beaches, and a vibrant boardwalk. It's not just a summer destination, it's a year-round haven for those who crave the coastal lifestyle without compromising on community warmth. So, what makes Cape May such a fantastic place to call home? Well, it's all about finding that sweet spot where factors like affordability, job opportunities, safety, and amenities converge. Let's break it down. Affordability is a crucial factor, and Cape May shines in this department. The cost of living is below the national average, making it easier on the wallet. And who doesn't love that? Now, let's talk safety. It boasts a low crime rate. Time for the nitty-gritty. Livability is above average. Overall, it's pretty impressive. Low crime rate. Top-notch, education. Great news. It has a lower poverty rate compared to many other cities in the U.S. Now, let's talk about the cons. Population is a bit small, with 3,491 residents. The numbers have seen a decline. Wrapping it up, it might be small, but it packs a punch when it comes to offering a high quality of life. The median house price is $630,000. Embrace the seaside living with an average rent of $1,600. The median household income, a solid $71,000, reflecting the town's vibrant and prosperous atmosphere. Heading to the Northeast, we land in the snowy wonderland of Stowe, Vermont at number five. First up, if you're a winter sports enthusiast, Stowe is your paradise. With long winters, skiing and snowboarding become a way of life. While winter sports are a blast, the winter itself is no joke. Let's not forget about the friendly atmosphere. With only 600,000 people, politeness is a must. And the food? Trust me, you won't miss the diverse culinary scene. Cost of living is another factor to consider. Stowe isn't the cheapest place to live. In fact, it's up there on the cost of living index. Commuting can be a challenge. Unlike the New York City subway days, here, you'll need a car. You'll find an average rent of $1,450 and a median household income of $135,000, with a median house price of $650,000. And here's a unique charm no billboards. Vermin outlawed them in the 70s, giving you a break from the constant barrage of ads. At number four, we find ourselves in the tulip-filled paradise of Holland, Michigan, perfect for families and those looking to raise their kids in a safe and friendly environment. Known for its Dutch heritage, Holland blooms with vibrant tulip festivals, 
charming windmills, and a thriving art scene. This town is a celebration of culture and nature, creating a unique blend that captivates the hearts of its residents. Holland boasts one of the safest living environments in the entire U.S., with a top-notch school district that ensures your kids get the education they deserve. The medical facilities here are top-notch. Now, the people here are friendly, though a bit conservative. But hey, that's part of the charm. Now, let's address something crucial, safety. My friend has been there for over a year and seen just one homeless person on the streets. That's a testament to the secure, healthy neighborhood Holland offers. Now, let's talk numbers. Taxes are moderate, and the cost of living won't break the bank, especially when compared to places like New York or Silicon Valley. The median house price blooms at $380,000. Enjoy the Dutch heritage with an average rent of $1,400 and a median household income of $82,000 keeps the community thriving. I'll be honest, if you're a young, single person looking to paint the town red every night, your options here might be a bit limited. But if you have a stable, decent paying job and are looking for a place to settle down with your family, Holland is the ideal spot. Now, let's venture into the rugged beauty of Whitefish, into the heart of Montana, our number three pick. Well, first things first, it's Whitefish, it's one word. Surrounded by the majestic peaks of the Rockies, Whitefish is an outdoor playground with endless opportunities for adventure. Now, there are a lot of misconceptions about Whitefish floating around, but let me give you an honest perspective. It has retained its small-town feel, maintaining a unique atmosphere and a strong sense of community. Now, it does get busy in July and August, with tourists flocking in for Glacier National Park and Whitefish Lake, but that's what fuels the vibrant restaurant, cultural, and retail scene. Is housing a bit pricier? Sure, but it's all relative. Some choose to commute from nearby towns while others find the charm of whitefish worth every penny. The median house price is $842,000. Surrounded by the Rockies, an average rent of $824 ensures a cozy mountain lifestyle. With a median household income of $111,000 for those seeking adventure. Now, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. We get a real winter here, keeping the riffraff out. Smoke from forest fires is a reality. Finding a job can be a challenge. The silver medal goes to Telluride in Colorado, a mountain town that needs no introduction. Nestled within a box canyon, it offers more than just mountain views. It provides an unparalleled lifestyle. Safety is paramount, and Telluride takes it seriously. Crime rates are low, allowing residents to feel comfortable walking around even at night. If safety is a priority for you, Telluride has you covered. Education is another highlight. It boasts top-notch schools, ensuring a bright future for your family. Of course, no place is perfect. Telluride's downside, the small population. With only 1,826 residents, some surveys argue economic conditions might be tougher. If you're seeking a place that offers more than just a home, Telluride might just be your perfect match. The median house price reaches new heights at $764,400 compared to $1,318, the median rent. The median household income at $83,000 reflects the town's upscale yet adventurous vibe. And finally, drum roll, please. Securing the top spot on our list is the coastal gem of Kennebunk, Port, Maine. This New England town is the epitome of coastal charm with its lobster boats, historic architecture, and a welcoming community. It's not just a resort town in York County, it's a rural lifestyle where every day feels like a vacation. It's a small but vibrant city with a population of 5,809. In Kennebunk, the pros outweigh the cons, 
the livability score is above average. The cost of living is a significant advantage, falling below the national average. The education system boasts an a rating. Now, let's talk numbers. The median home value is over a million. Affordable, right? Just kidding. Enjoy the lobster boats and historic charm with an average rent of $2,400. The median household income of $103,000 makes this New England town a perfect blend of coastal elegance and community warmth. Kennebunk gives you more bang for your buck. And there you have it, folks, the 10 best towns to live in the USA, not just for their beauty, but also for their affordability and thriving communities. So what's the perfect place for you? Well, that's for you to decide. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting city explorations. Until next time, happy exploring.